Hello friends. Welcome back on SSB Rocks and thanks for subscribing us if you not yet subscribed, so please subscribe. As we promise, today we are starting lecture series. And very soon we will cover group planning exercise and SSB interview also. Friends, lecture is one of the tests conducted by group testing officer. In this test, all candidates will be sitting in semicircle according to the chest numbers. A few cards will be kept on table. Group testing officer will brief about the conduct of the test and first candidate of the group will pick up any one of the card. In the card, there will be four or five topics given for delivering lecture. Candidate can choose any one of the given topic but can't change the card. Thereafter three minutes time will be given to the candidate to prepare for the lecture. First candidate will come and starts delivering the lecture. During this time, second candidate will go and pick up one card. Second candidate will also have three minutes time to prepare for lecture. As soon as three minutes finishes by the first candidate, second candidate will come and deliver a lecture in front of all candidates. And all this process goes like this till the last member finishes his lecture. Friends a lecture spans round just three minutes. So to score high marks during a three minute test is very tough if taken lightly. Not only marks does matter but also overall impression of a candidate depends upon the lecture. There are few tips for you to prepare for lecture on the screen. Friends, you can also ask your queries on our Google Plus and Twitter accounts as details shown on the screen. Your comments and views are most welcome. We will try our best to resolve your doubts. So friends be ready the first topic is Digital India. Friends as you are aware that Digital India is a campaign launched by the Government of India to ensure that government services are made available to citizens electronically by improving online infrastructure and by increasing internet connectivity or by making the country digitally empowered in the field of technology. It was launched on 1 July 2015 by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. The initiative includes plans to connect rural areas with high-speed internet networks. Digital India has three core components. First one is the creation of digital infrastructure, second is delivering services digitally and third component is digital literacy. The vision of Digital India program aims at inclusive growth in areas of electronic services, products, manufacturing and job opportunities etc. The vision of Digital India is centered on three key areas, digital infrastructure as a utility to every citizen, governance and services on demand and digital empowerment of citizens. The Government of India entity brought Broadband Network Limited which executes the National Optical Fibre Network project will be the custodian of Digital India DI, project. BBNL had ordered United Telecoms Limited to connect 250,000 villages through Kpun to ensure FTTH based broadband. This will provide the first basic setup to achieve towards Digital India and is expected to be completed by 2017. Friends, the government is planning to create 28,000 seats of BPOs in various states and set up at least one common service center in each of the Gram Panchayats in the state. Mr. Ravi Shankar Prasad announced on 27 February 2016 that National Institute of Electronics and Information Technology, NILIT, would be set up in Kurukshetra to provide computer training to youth and a software technology park of India. SDPI, would be set up in Panchkula's existing Sidkai Tea Park in Sector 23. Friends, 2016 Union Budget of India announced 11 technology initiatives including the use data analytics to nab tax evaders, creating a substantial opportunity for IT companies to build out the systems that will be required. Digital Literacy Mission will cover 6 crore rural households. It is planned to connect 550 farmer markets in the country through the use of technology. The centre may use its Digital India project in conjunction with the Swakbrat Abiyan to have solar-powered trash cans like in many US cities which send alerts to sanitation crew once they are full. Honourable Prime Minister Narendra Modi has asked for integration of all land records with ADA at the earliest, emphasising at his monthly pragati. Proactive governance and timely implementation, 
meeting on the 23rd of March 2016 that this is extremely important to monitor the successful implementation of the Braden Man Trifassel Bima Yojana or Crop Insurance Scheme. Friends, the Government of India hopes to achieve growth on multiple fronts with the Digital India Programme. Specifically, the Government aims to target nine pillars of Digital India that they identify as being Broadband Highways Universal Access to Mobile Connectivity Public Internet Access Program E-Governance Reforming Government Through Technology e Electronic Delivery of Services Information for All Electronics Manufacturing IT for Jobs and early harvest programs. Some of the facilities which will be provided through this initiative are Digital Locker, e-Education, e-Health, e-Sign and National Scholarship Portal. As the part of Digital India, Indian government plan to launch BitNet cleaning centers. Friends, let's talk about Digital Locker. Digital Locker facility will help citizens to digitally store their important documents like PAN card, passport, mark sheets and degree certificates. Digital Locker will provide secure access to government-issued documents. It uses authenticity services provided by ADA. It is aimed at eliminating the use of physical documents and enables sharing of verified electronic documents across government agencies. Friends next one is attendance.gov.in. It is a website, launched by PM Narendra Modi on 1 July 2015 to keep a record of the attendance of government employees on a real-time basis. This initiative started with implementation of a common biometric attendance system, BAS, in the central government offices located in Delhi. Next one is mygov.in. This is a platform to share inputs and ideas on matters of policy and governance. It is a platform for citizen engagement in governance, through a discuss, do and disseminate approach. National Scholarships Portal National Scholarship Portal is a one-stop solution for end-to-end -end scholarship process right from submission of student application, verification, sanction and dispersal to end beneficiary for all the scholarships provided by the Government of India. Swakbrat Mission Mobile App Swakbrat Mission SBM mobile app is being used by people and government organizations for achieving the goals of Swakbrat mission. E-signature framework. E-signature framework allows citizens to digitally sign a document online using ADA authentication. Friends next one is online registration system, ORS. The e-hospital application provides important services such as online registration, payment of fees and appointment online diagnostic reports, inquiring availability of blood online etc. Last one is Railways under the Digital India Programme. Three applications viz. Handheld terminals for Indian Railways Travelling Ticket Examiners, TTEs, a paperless unreserved ticketing mobile application and a facility for e-booking of disposable linen on trains were launched by Railways Minister Juresh Prabhu on 10 February 2016. Railway Minister Juresh Prabhu on 15 March 2016 launched the Indian Railways e-catering service at all the 408 major stations in the country, expanding the Indian Railway Catering and Tourism Corporation Limited IRC's popular facility that will allow travelling passengers to order food of their choice from leading railways and private caterers to be delivered at the stations. Friends. Watch this video again to prepare your lecture topic, a preset scenario audiobook has become a very popular alternative to the traditional reading. It is also a very effective way of stimulating your brain, the language processing part of your brain is activated whenever you listen. It also allows your brain to learn from the experiences being talked about. Listening lecture topics is actually good exercise for the brain and learning too. For more practice subscribe SSB Rocks. For daily updates, like, share and recommend SSB Rocks to your friends also for better preparation. You can also follow us on our Google Plus and Twitter account as details shown on the screen. Best of luck, SSB Rocks.